Next, I'm going to do another book report. It's been a while since I did one of these. I finished Star Wars Thrawn Treason. This is the third of the new Star Wars Thrawn trilogy. There's another one that's about the Chiss Ascendancy, which I haven't even gotten into that. This is the earlier one. Uh, the Ch So, spoilers for this book. I'm just going to review it. This one continues off after the last one. The last one, Thrawn Alliances. You had to team up with Vader and they had to go way out into the unknown space beyond the Outer Rim and deal with this problem that the, there was a disturbance in the Force they had to go deal with. And they didn't like each other at all. This one is about... After recently re-watching Rebels in September, uh, there was... When I was watching it... End of Season 3 in Rebels, Thrawn almost catches all the Rebels and destroys their base. And then early in Season 4, he's fighting them, but he gets called away by the Emperor. And he's called away for a week before he goes back and then the rest of Rebels season. This apparently is what happened during that week. Gets called by the Emperor. They have to go deal with this problem that's just on the edge of Imperial space next to unknown space. And they have to deal with a threat. And I'm not, I don't quite get why they're calling it treason. They keep saying like he's committing treason because he's siding with his people, the Chiss, and not with the Emperor, even though he does remain loyal to the Emperor, and yet they're always accusing him of treason. It was, uh, kind, it was better than the last one, I'll say. Definitely better than the last one. I can't say it was a really riveting read there. It did bring back characters from the first Thrawn book. That's his, uh, that's his buddy, Eli Vanto. He was in the first Thrawn book who got assigned as his translator slash military aide that had to accompany him everywhere. So he's now working for the Chiss. And it's an interesting story about this and I like how they ended it and they really tied it into Rebels, the end of Rebels, and then going forward recently we got the Ahsoka series, which... I didn't really care for it. If you disagree, that's cool. Let me know what you thought of it down below. They're just kind of... These books seem to be... They're filling in gaps that... Did we need that story? No. It's as if you were watching a... You know, a television series. And say it had 24 episodes. Because everything used to have like 22, 24, 26 episodes per season. So if you were watching an hour long... Uh, television show and say you miss some episodes but you've watched later ones you know that they're still alive and nothing happens to them so why do we need to go and do these uh, in a sense they're prequels of what we already know because we've seen him in Rebels but do we need to see where he went for that week that he got called away to the Emperor if you really want to know about it, it has to do with Project Stardust which hardcore Star Wars fans will know about that. If you don't know about Stardust, go watch, uh, maybe check out Star Wars Rogue One. Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's definitely in the top, it's probably in the top four for me, if not the top three. Anyone else out there read uh, Star Wars Thrawn Treason or any of the the Thrawn books or any of the new Star Wars Del Rey timeline. I'm still looking for good ones and I just keep reading through them and I'm jumping around different time areas. Uh, this one is... So it takes... This one takes place near the beginning of Season 4 of Rebels. That's where it fits in the timeline. And now I'm working on another book that... What one am I working on? Oh yes, yeah, Star Wars... Brotherhood, and it's right after episode two before the Clone Wars series and the Clone Wars movie. It's more stuff. It's just filling in another small gap, which, why? And uh, spoiler alert, uh, I'll review it, but spoiler alert, it ain't very good. If you want to hear more about uh, the Intergalactic Senate and, uh, you know, the politics of 
of the Republic. This may be for you, but, oh, geez, it's rough to get through. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on these Star Wars books. If you have any, down below, please. You can always subscribe for more content. Take care.